It is time to expand minds through movies, TV, sports, and flicks. It is time to boldly go where no podcast has gone before. It is time for the Captain Talks Flicks. The Captain, the Captain Talk, Talk Flicks. 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 Welcome to the Captain Talk Flicks Podcast. I'm your host, the Captain Cortez, a.k.a. Mr. Love, and this is where we talk flicks. I walk in the podcast, podcast where me, the Captain, talks about movies, TV, sports, flicks, anything you see in the tuba screen. I like to get in here and give my unique perspective, because after 46 years of being on planet Earth, I've developed neat perspective about these movies, TV, sports, and flicks, and I'd like to get out and tell you about it. Because just maybe, just maybe you care. And according to the stats, looks like you do care. I want to give a big shout out to Spain. Got some plays over in Spain this past week. Gracias, gratitude, todo reba, in Spain. I made that gazpacho. I told you last episode I was going to make the gazpacho. So you got a captain, went to his local grocery store, went to the produce section, got everything I needed, came back to the house, and made gazpacho. And let me tell you something, the captain's gazpacho was absolutely fantastic. It's healthy, a lot of vegetables up in there, smelled fantastic, tasted good as well. Yeah, what a great dish. I cannot wait to the day I go to Spain and I have some gazpacho. I heard Portugal also has some good gazpacho as well. So whose gazpacho is better? Portugal or Spain? Ooh, challenge, competition, woo! I'll have to go to both places and find out who's got the best gazpacho. So thanks for listening, can I say it's gratitude? And just FYI, back day with School to Be Radio DJ. But I never got a job. I think I never got a job, because I just didn't have the vision. If I would have had the vision, it would allow me to see the path to becoming a radio DJ. But I didn't, and it allowed me to become the greatest podcaster in the matrix something to debate might be true might not be true but i said it on the internet so it's got to be true right because everything on the internet is facts not facts true false propaganda fake news the matrix tvs cell phones computers video games internet social media i don't know i didn't make the internet ask the people that made the internet so when you're lying just be aware just watch out anyways like a rambler are they but i won't let's get right to podcast but first, a word from our sponsor. Ladies and gentlemen, it is the beginning of the year, and I think it's time to create your future. Do you want to create your future? Some people say if you write stuff on paper, it will solidify it becoming true. It's possible. Maybe it's true. If you want to give that a shot, we got a pen for you with Existing Fictions as a store that says create your future. So create your future by writing it on paper, and we'll help you with that with our Create your future pen over the existing fictions out store. I'll put the link below. So check it out. And now let's get on the podcast. Ladies and gentlemen, I am back and I survived the vicious, vicious monkey mind. Oh, it was there. I said last episode the monkey mind was there. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it was there. I survived the onslaught of the monkey mind. The doubts, the fears, they were coming right at me, bro. I was like, oh my gosh, it's over. The world's collapsing. I can't take it no more. It's too much. Sometimes it happens. Sometimes it bees like that. Sometimes the mind does those things. But I've developed tools and self-care methods to handle that monkey mind. I say, monkey mind, here's some bananas, bro. Get out of here. I don't think like that. That's not how I roll with the captain. It's not think like that. Monkey mind, you may think like that, but that's not what I believe. That's not my thoughts. Those are not my ideas. Those are not my words. So I had to let the monkey mind know. This is not how I roll. The captain don't roll like that. So I survived the monkey mind. Here I am once again to talk movies, TV, sports, and flicks. And this week, ladies and gentlemen, guess what? I went back to Tulsa again. I keep going back to Tulsa. Because Tulsa's just a fine place. This week, I got to see Tulsa King. Happy trails. Yeah, another fine episode of Tulsa King. But before I get into that, a couple things. First of all, there will be spoilers. And second of all, I do own some shares in Paramount. I just wanted to be transparent and let you know that. So now that I told you that, let's get right into Tulsa King. Happy trails. And let me just get right into it. 
First of all, let me say this. Dwight the General is inspirational. There was a monologue in Happy Trails where I was like, bro, this is inspirational. I need to see some memes. I need to see some TikToks. I need to see some Instagrams of that speech. Because that speech from Dwight in Happy Trails episode, so inspirational. I was inspired. I was like, I will follow Dwight anywhere. Where are you going, Dwight? I am following you. I got your back 100%. Let's go. Let's go to board, Dwight. I'm ready to go with you right now. Because he was inspirational. I see why they call him the general. Because he can lead men and women. He's a leader, bro. Like, oh my gosh, it was so inspirational. I was so inspired. So Dwight was inspiring the troops. Like, bro, let's go to war. And so they went to war. In this episode, they went to war. It was the final showdown between Dwight's crew and those other guys. You know, those guys that got mad about the balloons. You know, those guys, it all started over some balloons, bro. The whole conflict, the whole war started over balloons. Balloons are supposed to be happy parties, but not these balloons. These balloons started a war. <laughs> it's craziness. So those balloon guys, those guys are mad about the balloons. They went to war with Dwight. And did you think that those balloon guys were really going to beat Dwight, the general? Spoilers, 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 spoilers. Didn't happen. Couldn't happen. Wouldn't happen. Because Dwight is a strategist. Dwight knows how to navigate the world. He knows how to solve problems. Dwight is a master strategist. Dwight read the art of war. He knows how to move, bro. Dwight knows how to move. He said we go to war. He won the war. Dwight won the war against those balloon guys, bro. It was a magnificent episode. Fine episode. And so Dwight won the war. Everybody's happy. Everybody's chilling. Everybody's relaxing. Enjoying life. But spoilers. 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 The war had been won. Three months went by. And spoilers. Dwight's having a party. Spoilers. Lady comes knocking at the door of the party. It's like, hey, there's a lady outside. I want to talk to you, Dwight. He goes outside. It's like, oh, it's that lady. It's that lady, the young lady that he um, got busy with like way back in the day. The lady that works for one of those, you know, one of those letter organizations. You know, works for them. She, she, she comes to visit. He's like, what are you doing here? And she's like, Dwight, I'm sorry. And then guess what? The SUV with the lights is rolling up. It's like, Dwight, we gotta take you in. <laughs> so I was like, man, when I saw it, I was like, Dwight had won the war. He made it through so much stuff. And in the end, still got got. He got got because of a lady. That's how it always works. You may be a master strategist, but a lady will get you. <laughs> I'm joking, ladies. You guys are awesome. But in this episode, kind of the woman kind of tripped him up. He made a move prior to that. He did a little something. And that move he made came back to get him at a later date. Because the lady had a choice to make. She's like, you choose this life or you choose that life. And she chose the life she already knew. When choosing that life, Dwight was going down. Now there's one episode left. Can Dwight the general maneuver out of this? Dwight the General is a master strategist and he's been able to maneuver through all the problems that came his way. I like Dwight so much. I want to be like Dwight. I want to be like that in the square world, not the gangster world. Like I said, I'm not a gangster. But Dwight handled the business. Can Dwight maneuver himself out of his current predicament? I'm kind of leaning towards yes. Dwight's a smart guy, savvy guy. And I think he will find his way through that problem. I'm pretty sure he will. We'll find out next week. I believe next week is the last episode of Tulsa King. Unfortunately, no more going to Tulsa unless I get into a plane and fly over there, which I'm heavily considering. One of these days, I'm going to go on vacation. And when I go on vacation, like Tulsa's a possibility. I'm being absolutely serious. I've been pounding a lot of places to go on vacation, a lot of different places across the globe. And I'm telling you something, seeing Tulsa King, the show, has enticed me to want to take a vacation here. Completely honest, completely real. Seems like a good place to go to get away from the hustle and bustle of the big city. So anyways, yes, next week we will find out. Will Dwight the General pull one last maneuver, one last stratagem to maneuver himself out of his current predicament? He can because he's the general. I believe in him. 
So anyways, episode was fantastic. Like I said earlier, Dwight so inspired me. I was inspired, bro. I'm going to look for that quote online. I'm going to share that somewhere. Because it was so inspirational. So anyways, thanks for joining me. I appreciate it. Can I see his gratitude? And until next time, we'll see. The greatest discovery of my generation is that a human being can alter his life by altering his attitudes of mind. William James. Until next time, it's Captain Peace. The Captain, the Captain Talks, Talks Flicks. Flicks.